Hey, how you doing today, Kim? Great, Roosevelt. It's a pleasure to be here and be with you. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'm Kim Mitchell. Uh, I'm a, uh, a resident of Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, my career is uh, an architect and a city planner for about 40 years. Had a, uh, was an owner in a historic firm in downtown Shreveport. I've, uh, in the last few years, 2014 actually, have accepted a position to be the uh, director of the Center and Institute for Community Renewal, uh, which supports and uh, replication of the community renewal model and actually grows the applications for that model. You know, my, one of the things, uh, and I'm going to start at college level, and I'll bring it forward quickly, but uh, in getting a, a Master of Architecture and doing the specialty in, in sociology and city planning, uh, what I discovered early on is I have a, a real passion for community. And my whole professional career has been one of uh of design and using design as a way to learn more about community and to learn about strategies and uh, and what it takes to uh, to have a, a more prosperous, equitable community. Well, a, a friend who's uh, with Community Renewal asked me if I would come and speak to a group of Allendale residents who had been involved, had been trying to participate in, uh, in our MPO's transportation planning process concerning uh, a freeway running through the Allendale neighborhood. And uh, he thought that I might be able to help them understand the process better or uh, share what I know. And so I, I went to Allendale uh, on a February night in 2012 to a friendship house where I encountered about 15 Allendale residents. And uh, I told them that the freeway was not inevitable. But at the same time, I came in, uh, you know, as the expert in the room. And I, something told me that night is that uh, don't start by telling everybody what you know. Listen. And so uh, that was a, a very, you know, you get points in life that you recognize are, are, are important. And uh, for whatever was on my mind, however God touched me that night, the listening was so important because what I discovered as everyone in the room uh, shared with me uh, what they were feeling, and, uh, and what their concerns were. And it was beautiful. Uh, first of all, you saw a lot of intelligence. And uh, I was at least knowledgeable enough to know that this is a group of Allendale residents living in what was the most dangerous place in Shreveport. And through their efforts as individuals and as a community, working in partnership with Community Renewal and the Fuller Center, they were now homeowners and they had made the most dangerous place in Shreveport now the safest place in Shreveport. And what they had encountered was a, a bureaucracy, transportation bureaucracy and community leaders now telling them that the miracle you created uh, is not that important. We're here to run over you. And so they shared with me uh, their deep understanding, which I, I was very surprised they, they would several of them made comments around, you know, we can never have as good a life as we've created here for ourselves. That if they buy us out, uh, we're gonna be worse off than we were, than we've ever been in our lives. And uh, and just the, the attitude of feeling that the freeway was inevitable, that there was nothing that they could do. And, uh, and what, what I agreed to do or what I proposed to them was, uh, was in recognition that here you've got folks that have created a miracle 
and they have nobody to speak for them. All the power, all the influence, all the money, all the consultants are lined up against them. And those in the leadership in the community are really treating them uh, as not worth anything. And the residents, uh, particularly the, the matriarch of the neighborhood, Rosie Chaffel, uh, expressed that because she had experienced it, that people in other parts of the city thought that if you were from Allendale, you weren't worth anything. And so they, they uh, articulated these things in a way that I propose that, look, if we'll form a learning community to learn about this, this project together and how we can take action on what we're learning, I'll represent you as your, what I made up a term, planner advocate. Uh, just feeling that someone of, on the professional side or, or knowing about these needs to represent them. And so that was really the catalyst for Allendale Strong. And uh, uh, it's been such an amazing journey and such a, a period of growth for me over these nine years. Cam, thank you for letting us uh, uh, talk to you today. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk at another time. Okay, great.